we have to Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining our webinar on business process automation with Office 365. I'm Sudi Gumi, the Director of Marketing at BizPorter Solutions, and I'm joined here by some of my colleagues, Anil Gursahani, our Solutions Lead, and Surrender Dadani, our VP of Product, and we are very glad to have you for today's webinar. Uh, for today's webinar, we'll be focusing on using Office 365 uh, to automate your business processes, and when I say business process automation, I mean digitizing and automating your repetitive manual forms, uh, workflows, uh, and tasks across your business. So we're going to show you the types of tasks and workflows that can easily be automated and how to build business process automation all on Office 365 in a quick uh, and simple way. Uh, so that's the goal of today's webinar. So let's jump right into the agenda. Our agenda will be as follows. Uh, first, we're going to give you a quick introduction to our team and company. Uh, second, we will talk about the capabilities of business process automation and the specific types of tasks, uh, workflows, and processes that can be automated on Office 365. Uh, third, uh, we're going to go through how to use Office 365 to implement business process automation, uh, the key Office 365 tools to use, and options on how to get started. Uh, fourth, and then Anil will show you real-life examples of business process automation on Office 365. Uh, with the demo of our BizPortals 365 product, uh, which is a comprehensive and turnkey internet and digital workplace solution for Office 365. Uh, BizPortals 365 instantly connects to your Office 365 or SharePoint environment and has inbuilt, pro uh, sorry, inbuilt business process automation uh, that's ready to use for your most common business needs. Uh, so we will be showcasing what that looks like. Then finally, we'll end with some Q&A, so you can ask any question on what we cover as well as general Office 365 questions. We'll try to leave a few minutes for Q&A at the end, uh, but please ask questions throughout the presentation. If we can't get to your questions during the webinar, we'll certainly follow up with you via email. And then please note that your microphone is on mute, so please use the chat uh, inside the GoToWebinar toolbar to ask your questions. So for intros, again, I'm Sudi Gumi, the Director of Marketing at BizPortal Solutions. I've been in this role for about a year, and prior to joining BizPortal's I was a management consultant at PricewaterhouseCoopers, uh, focused on digital strategy and digital transformation. Uh, I'm joined by Anil Grisahani, who is our solutions lead. He leads our customer implementations. He has over 12 years of experience building and implementing internet and digital workplace solutions and is an Office 365 and SharePoint expert. Uh, then we have Surendra, our VP of product and head architect. He is an entrepreneur who brings over 30 years of building companies and products that provide advanced cost-efficient software solutions. And he's on hand for our Q&A to answer any of your product or technical questions. And then as a company, BizPortal Solutions, uh, we're a full service Office 365 and SharePoint shop based in Orange County, Southern California. Uh, and we have offices in Boston and India. I mentioned that we have our BizPortal 365 product. So we have a product development team. And we also provide product customizations, implementation, planning, migration, and other Office 365 and SharePoint services. We have over 15 years of experience developing digital workplace, internet, and SharePoint solutions, so we're experts in these areas as well as Office 365 and Microsoft platform as a whole. Uh, and our customers are primarily small and medium-sized businesses, as well as teams and departments within uh, larger businesses and enterprises. Uh, finally, we've been gold, Microsoft Gold Partners for over 15 years as well. So as usual um, with our webinars, we like to start off with some specific challenges that we know businesses, including our customers face as it sets the stage for what business process automation can solve and the business benefits uh, business process automation on Office 365 provides. Uh, so first, paper forms. Businesses still use paper forms for many of their day-to-day -day tasks uh, like expense reimbursements, timesheets, time off approvals, and work in purchase orders. Uh, papers. Forms, needless to say, are inefficient, they waste time and easily get lost. And then with paper forms, there's no good way or mechanism to store, uh, attract the status, or search for them. So paper forms are really costly to a business in many ways. And businesses are also challenged by um, manual processes still, um, such as simple multi-step approvals, like if you need a document signed off from different stakeholders or managers, or manually inputting and keeping track of steps in a workflow from department to department, or business system to business system, 
or manually creating and distributing reports, uh, all of these examples of manual processes are time consuming and are prone to error and miscommunication. And then businesses are also cha challenged with this, uh, with a lack of accountability and communication. Uh, with paper forms and manual processes, it's hard to keep track of the status of a workflow. For example, was this document or information reviewed or approved? Uh, who does this information need to go to next? Or who is this task assigned to? Or who was this task completed by? Uh, such questions and things are hard to track and information and tasks easily get lost as there's no recorded trail of activities. Uh, so it's hard to ensure accountability and proper communication. Then uh, lack of record keeping and compliance. Uh, this all becomes even more problematic for record keeping and compliance as this also has to be manual. And if things get lost and aren't properly tracked, your record keeping and compliance is flawed and essentially non-existent. And then business, uh, businesses are still challenged by disparate systems. Uh, workflows and tasks become more complicated if you have disparate systems that are not talking to each other and information has to be translated and transferred manually. So there's a business cost and energy cost to all of this. Um, lost time, uh, admin costs, manual errors, lost productivity, and, and more all of which add a real burden to your employees and business. Uh, but you can really simplify much of your day-to-day -day work where it matters and makes sense with uh, business process automation using Office 365. So how does business process automation on Office 365 solve these common challenges? Uh, one, it digitizes your paper forms so you don't have to search, print, scan, and physically file these forms anymore. Uh, it automates uh, workflows from simple multi-step workflows like approving time off and purchase requests from your manager, HR, and finance to more complex workflows such as managing inventory, formula reviews, compliance, or IT help desk tickets. Uh, three, it automates reporting from creating, storing, and sharing reports. All of this can be automated using Office 365, and you can uh, create easy to digest graphs and visuals from data and reports as well. And then business process automation on Office 365 can integrate with other business systems. Um, you can automate, connect, and bring in workflows and reports from different systems, such as your ERP and CRM, and house and share this information across the business in one place. <clears throat> and then it also helps enforce accountability, record keeping, and uh, compliance. With automation, business process automation, all actions and activities can be tracked, and each process maintains a history making it easy to see who did what and who is responsible for the next steps. Uh, you can digitize record keeping and filing of activities within workflow. And for compliance, you can archive your activity and approval history and easily search and go back to that archive. So very powerful for businesses that have an audit and compliance need. Then importantly, business process automation on Office 365 streamlines communication. On Office 365, you can track the progress of the workflows in a dashboard view to keep everyone informed and avoid miscommunication. Also, you can integrate notifications, alerts, reminders, and instant messaging with your workflows so you can communicate with people and teams in the same place where you, you are initiating and tracking uh, your workflows. So some specific examples and of the types of processes and workflows and tasks that can be automated with Office 365, uh, we group them in three uh, main buckets, HR and admin, operations, and IT for simplification. Uh, for HR and admin type tasks, you can digitize and automate your time off management, including timesheet approvals and time off requests, uh, expense and purchase requests and approvals, uh, even your invoice processing from invoice creation to tracking, employee onboarding and offboarding activities without having to burden HR, uh, and employee performance reviews. Uh, for operations, you can digitize and automate your work orders and your inventory quality and project management workflows and financial reporting. And then for IT, you can automate the creation and management of your IT help desk tickets, user rights provisioning, creating and managing help desk, desk cases, um, and your system monitoring and alerts and notifications, and IT reporting. So these are just some commonly used examples of business process automation on Office 365, uh, but there are many more workflows you can implement uh, using Office 365. So to help see the difference between a manual and automated process, uh, let's look at a very simple example of an expense reimbursement form that needs a manager's and the finance and accounting department's approvals. As you can see, there are many manual steps and touch points for even a simple workflow such as this. 
You have to first locate the updated form, print it, fill it out, and manually attach the receipt and scan and send it to your manager or physically hand it to them for them to sign. Uh, then it needs to be passed on via email or hard copy to the finance department for their approval. Then importantly, they have to record and file it for accounting purposes. The problem here is that this process is inefficient. Uh, it takes more than more time than it needs to. Uh, importantly, there's an increased chance that things uh, can get lost and are unable to track of even a uh, simple workflow. Uh, so what things like was it approved or if it was held up in a process, where, where is it held up and who needs to complete what task? Also, you're likely have to have to send a few follow-up email reminders and follow-ups to make sure the form gets approved and processed, which can be very annoying. Um, but if you automate this process, you can easily find and initiate the form because it's in one central searchable place. You fill out the form, submit the digital form with the receipt. It is automatically uh, routed and sent to your manager with the notification. Your manager approves it with the click of a button. Then it's automatically routed to the finance department. They approve it and have it recorded and stored with another click of a button so that they can easily go back to it if it's needed, especially for compliance. Uh, and all along the way, you, you can see the status of the workflow. You receive remind, timely reminders and notifications as needed, and every action is recorded and tracked, and a history of activities maintained. And all of all of this with a few, just a few clicks of the button. So this was just a basic example. Now take this across the many processes and workflows across your business, whether admin related, HR, operational, compliance, and from business system to business system. Um, so all those manual workflows are very uh, cumbersome and a burden to your business. So business autom process automation is very powerful and Office 365 can fill many of the gaps where you need business process automation to run your business more efficiently, uh, smoothly, and more productively. So now, how do you use Office 365 to set up your workflows easily? Uh, you can build business process automation with three main components. One, key Office 365 tools to design and set up your workflows. Uh, two, SharePoint. And three, your existing business systems. So the first component, key Office 365 tools for business process automation. Uh, the first is Microsoft Flow. Uh, Flow is a powerful, easy to use tool to design and set up your workflows. Flow has an easy visual designer where you can lay out the steps in your workflow and then edit and update them as needed. Uh, you can do many things with Flow from configuring your alerts and approvals to modeling complex multi-stage processes uh, within Office 365. Uh, Flow also connects to and integrates with third-party data sources and services such as your existing business systems. Uh, what that means is when your workflow needs data from other sources, Flow lets you automate data exchange and the synchronization of that data and more. For example, you can use Flow to copy information entered by your sales team in Microsoft Dynamics or other CRM system. Um, to a SharePoint list that can be used by your operations team. The second important tool here is Power Apps. Uh, with, Power App, with Power Apps, you can create, without writing any code, uh, apps that interact with data in SharePoint and other cloud and on-premise sources. So Power Apps helps your business bring in and consume data in real time for many uh, different data sources. Uh, you can customize the data and how it is viewed for different purposes with Power Apps. And then Power Apps helps you analyze the data to drive an actionable uh, business decision. It sounds very sophisticated, and it, it is pretty sophisticated, but it can be used for very simple, useful, and everyday purposes. Uh, for example, you can use Power Apps to build custom forms that we've been talking about, and also to view, create, and modify data and reports. And Power Apps, of course, is built for mobile, so you can have important information and forms always with you at your fingertips wherever you go. And then the third, um, I guess the second component is another important Office 365 tool is, of course, SharePoint. Um, SharePoint is the central place slash portal where all of this comes together. SharePoint is where you house your forms, your data, your lists, and reports, um, the types we've been talking about, and easily share and distribute them to different people and teams. Uh, it's where you go to search, initiate, and submit your forms, access and track the status of your workflows, projects, and tasks, and store and update information. It is also where you access and interact with your different Office 365 tools so that all of your tools are in one place. So essentially, it is your central go-to portal for the information and tools you need on a daily basis uh, to get work done and collaborate with your teams and employees. So these are the main Office uh, 365 tools for business process automation. 
Some other useful Office 365 tools to supplement your business process automation capabilities are Outlook for your email integration so you can get email notifications on important uh, status updates and notifications of your workflows. Uh, Teams and Yammer for quicker and more collaborative team communication around your workflows. And then Planner for an easy task management tool. And then Power BI, which is a powerful tool that makes your data and reports easy to understand with graphs, visuals, and executive dashboards. Um, so that you can make critical business insights. Then the third component is your existing business systems. Um, As I mentioned, you can bring in data and workflows from your existing business systems using Microsoft Flow, and then you can house information, bring in and distribute reports, create executive dashboards, and track workflows from your existing business systems with SharePoint. So this is how to use Office 365 for business process automation. It is a very powerful ecosystem of tools that can easily be brought together. Uh, for your business process automation needs. And then, so how do you bring all of this together and get started with business process automation on Office 365? There are two main options for purposes of simplification. Uh, Option one is, the first is to build business process automation on Office 365 on your own. It is doable. Uh, However, doing so can be costly and time consuming. Uh, Taking the example of a form, it takes Uh, you know, time to plan the specifics of that workflow. Uh, Like for your forms, you have to design the form and then document the routing and workflow. And then it requires some Office 365 and SharePoint skills to implement the form and workflow. And that involves some coding. And then you have to do some Q&A to to make sure it's working properly in-house. So this option does require more time, uh, money and resources and increased risk as there's more pressure on you to get it right given the time and money you're spending. Uh, But if you have the dollars and time and skills uh, to afford this, uh, to build business process automation on Office 365, uh, this may be the way to go. Um, But if you, like most businesses, don't have um, the time, dollars, and resources, uh, they're turnkey, ready-to-go Office 365 solutions, like our Biz Portals 365, that do the work for you. So this is um, option two. So for example, Biz Portals 365, it's a comprehensive internet and digital workplace solution. but it's also built with business process automation for most of your day-to-day needs. So it has ready-to-go forms and workflows that you can use. Um, It has notifications, alerts, and reminders embedded in these workflows, and it integrates SharePoint with Flow and other business systems. So essentially, uh, what we've done with BizPort 365 is what we've templatized many common forms, workflows, and integrations. So the backbone of business process automation is already there and ready for you to use for most of your day-to-day needs. Uh, And if needed, you can easily customize the forms and workflows to your needs because the infrastructure is already built in and set up. So you avoid, you so you really avoid recreating the wheel and you reduce the risk of going at it on your own and spending a lot of time and money doing so. And then additionally, BizPortals is easy to use. It doesn't require uh, any special skills or IT resources to set up and maintain. We do the maintenance and provide regular product updates, so it's always updated and it's quick to set up within a matter of days, so you can get up up and running quickly. And then with a turnkey solution like BizPortals 365, uh, you get quick ROI with minimal investment and with minimal support and resources needed on your end, so you essentially get cost-free technology and feature updates. So this is the option, um, would be the way to go for most businesses. So hopefully what I just went through gives you some key takeaways on what you can do with business process automation on Office 365 and your options for getting started. Um, and building business process automation and replacing your manual processes right away with Office 365. So now Anil will bring all of this to life with a demo. All right. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Suri. Uh, that was great information. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Anil Gosani. I'm the head of customer implementation at uh, this portal solutions. And uh, what I primarily do is make sure that our customers who implement these portals, uh, they have a good user experience, uh, they get trained on not only our solution, but also on Office 365, okay? All right, so let's get started with uh, business process automation. Um, I'm assuming most of you have Office 365, and if you don't, it's a great uh, way to really get your business uh, in shape. Um, and uh, increase your productivity in-house. So with Office 365, uh, you get a slew of apps. Again, uh, very 
important, very useful apps uh, that are available, but how do you really make sense of all of this? How do your users, uh, employees, really use all of these apps, right? So what we have done, and as Sudhi mentioned, that uh, uh, SharePoint uh, brings all of these apps into one employee hub. Uh, it really integrates all these apps and uh, makes it really powerful. Uh, so what you see uh, on your screen is a home page of uh, our solution, this portal, 365. Uh, and the first thing that I want to mention about process automation is that there are three important categories of automation. Uh, one is that you would want to automate your repetitive tasks that your employees do, uh, so minimize you know, redundant work, uh, manual work, uh, and then be able to display that information in other systems or in other views uh, of your applications. So that is one level of automation. The second level of automation is really uh, digitizing uh, your information. Uh, now information really is in form of uh, uh, forms and documents. So let's talk about forms. So basically you could digitize your forms, make it available for your employees, and then have them uh, use uh, the digital forms to submit certain requests, uh, have it reviewed by people and then finally approved. So all that can be digital. Um, and the third level of automation is really automating your tasks and the subsequent actions. So if there are certain tasks that are done, you want new tasks created uh, and assigned to people, all that can also be automated. Right? So that is the advanced level of automation. So these were the three. Uh, let's get into the first one. That is forms automation. So what we have done is provided you with out of the box about eight to 10 forms. Uh, and these forms are uh, generally, you know, they take care of 70 to 80% of the needs of customers. So we have some reimbursement requests. We have daily activity report. Uh, we have a request for purchase form. And let me just click on one of these to show you. Now this is what we have provided out of the box. Again, we can work with you and customize these forms. So the fields and the values, the layout, uh, we can customize all of those, right? So, <clears throat> and then also we have a time of request and a help desk. Uh, that is a IT service request, okay? So with these forms, um, you can also uh, attach workflows. What we have again done out of the box, we have a multi-stage workflow built in. So let's just walk through uh, one of these forms, right? So let's say we have a reimbursement request and uh, this is how the form looks like, very simple. Uh, you can, it uh, takes the system date, you can put a description, and then you can put an amount, and then you can uh, add items uh, to that, right? So let's go ahead and look at a pre-filled form. Uh, <clears throat> that's expense uh, reimbursement. Now this is another view uh, for Alex. Uh, Alex is logged in right now, and uh, these are the forms. Uh, really is the inbox here. So you can see he has filled a couple of time of requests, mileage reimbursement, expense reimbursement. So I'm going to open one of these. And uh, he has filled this in. He has submitted it to his manager, uh, that is ISAIR. And uh, he'll go ahead and uh, you know fill this in and submit it. He could send comments at any point. Uh, but right now he has filled it in. Now outside of this, what can you do with the form? You can request comments. You can withdraw the request, right? Uh, you can email a copy uh, to someone else. So all those uh, functions are easily available here. Uh, so he has filled this form and he has sent it to ICAIR. And uh, now moving on to ICAIR's view. Uh, this is, uh, I'm logged in if you see on the top right as the manager. Uh, so ICAIR comes in, um, he gets an email notification. Again, one level of automation that as soon as someone fills the request, uh, you can get an email notification. Uh, so expense reimbursement has been submitted by Alex, and you have a link to go to the particular form. Okay, so you can click it from here, or you can also go to your form center, that is ICS, and you'll see your form that uh, you have submitted and the ones that you have to approve. So we had looked at the expense reimbursement, so I'm going to open that up. Um, <clears throat> this was the uh, form that Alex had filled. Uh, so I say reviews this, and he can, again, take one of the actions, as I mentioned, he can request comments, right, uh, back from Alex, or he can go directly and approve it. So 
So let's say he goes and approves the form. Okay, and uh, you get a message at the bottom that you reviewed the form, and then you can shut this. So it's that simple. It's just one click, and the form is on its way. Uh, and the endpoint right now is the administrator. It could be your uh, administration. It could be HR. Uh, we can work with you and set up the workflow. Uh, going on to the manager's, uh, uh, sorry, the administrator's view. Okay, so I'm logged in as the administrator. Again, you have the same view, uh, consistent usage across all. And again, there are 16 forms to approve. Uh, we have just submitted that, so it will take a minute uh, to come in the inbox. But uh, we can open up another form that is sitting with, uh, let me go ahead and open one uh, that he can approve. Um, all right. So he'll go ahead and approve this. So this way, it completes the workflow and uh, uh, submits this in the system. Again, it's kept within our SharePoint uh, database. Now, how do you uh, look at the reports? How do you look at all this data? Uh, in the form center, uh, if you look on the left side here, we have uh, uh, given you a view of uh, the saved record. So as the administrator or HR, let's say, uh, you would be able to click on open saved record and look at the information there. It will take a while to come up uh, because it's going to go through the records. Again, you can see your expenses, uh, team expenses, and you can open up each form. So it saves it as a form, and you can go and review that. Um, <clears throat> what Office 365 also has is Power BI. Uh, some of you might know that. It's a business intelligence and reporting tool. Uh, so we can use that, attach it to uh, the SharePoint list, and basically create a report. So this is a sample report that we have created. And this really looks into all the expense reimbursement requests. And it can uh, create a visual report for you. OK, so you can see the expense amount by month, uh, by name of the resource, and expense type. So you could easily uh, design that. And if you need help, uh, we can work with you. Also, you can do more insights. You can get some more insights into this report. And I'll just show you that. So basically, this is the power of uh, Power BI. And here you can see uh, you have various views. Again, you can create your own views here. Uh, but this is by expense date. You can see the amounts. You can uh, uh, look at it. And who really had the majority of expenses? You can see the <laughs> names here and so on. So these kind of reports can be generated with Power BI. So again, this is, these are all examples of uh, process automation and reporting uh, using Office 365 and uh, SharePoint. All right, moving on. Uh, going back to Alex's login here, what I want to now talk about is Microsoft Flow. Uh, Microsoft Flow is one of the apps in Office 365. Okay, And uh, let me just go ahead and show you a sample flow. What we have done is, for the purpose of this webinar, we have created a simple workflow uh, saying that as soon as you flag an email in Office 365, it should create a task for you in Planner. Planner is one of the project planning tools of Office 365. And it's very easy uh, to create that. Okay, And there are some templates available with Office 365 that you can use. Uh, essentially, you can also see the run history. Uh, so every time that workflow is uh, executed, uh, you can see the history of that okay in uh, here and then moving on to planner uh, let me see if i have that up uh, basically with planner in fact let me go there <clears throat> just a minute okay so with uh, microsoft planner uh, you can uh, not only execute projects manage your tasks but since we created that flow uh, in microsoft flow and uh, that was for flagged emails now you can see the tasks are created here on the left. Um, and then you can execute these tasks right here. So again, a level of automation. Uh, you can have your own custom workflows built and route it to different apps in Office 365 or to our intranet solution, uh, that is BIS portals. Okay. If you have any questions uh, regarding these workflows, uh, or anything else with Office 365, please put it in the chat window. We'll try and reply to those uh, if we get time. 
Uh, otherwise, we'll definitely get back to you via email. Okay. All right. Uh, the uh, third thing that Suri had mentioned earlier was Microsoft uh, Power Apps. Now, Power Apps is another tool that let me get that up here. Uh, so, Power Apps is basically taking all the functionality of Office 365 and being able to uh, make a mobile app uh, very easily, very simple. Uh, so, here, uh, Microsoft offers you some sample apps, uh, Power Apps that you can create. Uh, what I want to show you is a level of automation again with uh, if some of you use Microsoft CRM uh, for your sales and marketing. Uh, this is basically an example uh, of a Power App and uh, this is a web view of it. You can have a, a mobile phone view of it also. Uh, basically this takes all the information from a CRM and now you can see all your customers listed here. If you click on any one of them, it can drill down, give you some additional data right here. So integration with systems like CRM, ERP, financial is a breeze using these tools. Again, uh, outside of using our ready-to-go intranet solution, uh, what we also really work with customers is on designing their workflows and uh, automating their business processes uh, using Office 365. Okay. So this was an example of uh, Microsoft Power Apps. All right, and you can see here your customer information, active work orders. Again, all of this depends on what kind of information you want to be uh, showing or showcasing in your uh, application here. So with Power Apps, again, one more thing I want to mention is not only can you create information from here, so as you can see, there's an add new opportunity here. So you could directly input data into CRM uh, from here. You can read data from uh, CRM or any other system. You can update the information and also being able to delete uh, records. So all of that is uh, available with Power Apps. All right, uh, moving on. So uh, in fact, before moving on, I just want to make sure we have gone through, so I'll repeat it very quickly. So we have gone and seen a level of forms automation. Uh, we have looked at uh, <clears throat> uh, we have looked at uh, form center here uh, of this portal. Uh, we have gone ahead and uh, showcased Power BI uh, for business reporting and intelligence. Uh, we have also spoken about Microsoft Flow uh, that is uh, integrating or, or automating certain actions and uh, uh, inputting those into uh, different systems. So uh, information between Outlook and Planner, as you saw that, and then we looked at Power Apps right, as another tool. Now I want to get back to our uh, solution here, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about the other uh, information, key information that is housed uh, in companies, and that is in the form of documents. So what you see here in front of you is a marketing department site. Uh, again, the site has uh, great features. Uh, if you do want to take a look at our solution in detail, please sign up for a demonstration uh, with us. You can go to our website, thisportals365.com, and request uh, for a demo there. Essentially, this site uh, has um, streaming video capability. This is integration with the Office 365 video. You can directly uh, stream videos in the web part. Okay, uh, and then you can have you can manage your task list, action items uh, in your department. Uh, right here, uh, and a lot of other great features. But what I wanted to show you was documents, right? So marketing department, uh, let's say you house all these documents here. Um, again, you can categorize those, you can search, we have a very powerful search built in of the documents, but really what is the level of automation that we do here? So with documents, we have integrated this very tightly uh, with OneDrive, okay, Office 365 uh, OneDrive. So let me show you a view of this. So again, we were at the marketing department site, and now I'll take you to Alex's view of uh, his OneDrive. He has right on the top left, you can see, you have your own files, uh, certain files that are shared with you will display here, other files will come up here. But what you see below is really integration of our BizPortals 365, okay? And uh, we were looking at the marketing department, so you can traverse there, look at all your documents here. Uh, so same view as our uh, solution had right here. 
Now with this, uh, you can also see the version history uh, of all your documents. Now this data is really being pulled from our uh, intranet uh, marketing department site. Uh, so the very deep level of integration built in with Office 365. And then you can certainly automate these so you can write uh, Microsoft Flow workflows basically. Uh, so you could get notified when a new document comes in, either someone puts it in OneDrive or into the intranet site. Uh, you could get an email notification, you could trigger some action, uh, review and approval uh, action. Uh, all of that can be done with Microsoft Flow. All right. So that in a nutshell uh, covers uh, our business pro process automation uh, functionality here. Um, and if there are, again, uh, anything specific that uh, you want to cover, uh, maybe you have different types of business processes, uh, maybe you have integration with you know, some third-party applications, uh, please uh, reach out to us. Uh, we can work with you. Um, and if you do want to attend uh, future webinars, uh, we are doing that almost every two weeks with different functionality. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one demo, you can certainly get back to us and uh, talk to us on those. Um, <clears throat> all right. Let me end this session with, again, the view of our uh, home page. I'll just get there. Uh, just give me a minute. <clears throat> All right, so on our home page of this portal, the last level of automation, you know, and this was the first thing I mentioned, that when you uh, submit any information, let's say you're submitting your time off request um, and so on, you could have that displayed automatically on the calendars. So I'm going to go ahead and click all. That really brings up uh, all the calendars in one view for a user. So you can see out of office, uh, you can see you can see holidays. Uh, if I traverse back, I think there will be some time off requests here. So you could really automate uh, this, bring in the information directly on calendars, uh, either right here, and uh, otherwise we can work with you and put it in your Outlook calendars also. Uh, so great level of automation. Okay. All right, guys. So with this, uh, I think uh, I'd like to pass it back to Suri. Thanks a lot for uh, seeing this demonstration. And again, you can always reach out to us. Thank you. Thanks, Anil. Uh, before we go to Q and A, uh, as Anil mentioned, if you have more questions about the BizPort 365 or want to see more in depth in a one-on-one -on -one demo, uh, please um, contact us at the email and phone number to the right. And then now we will go to some Q and A. Thanks, Rudy, uh, and thanks, Anil, uh, for a great demo. Uh, there was a lot of uh, information that was presented, uh, and I'm sure uh, while you're watching and listening, uh, you probably have had several questions. Uh, thanks, everyone, for attending. We do have some uh, important questions. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get uh, to many of them, but I'll try to squeeze as many as possible in this short time. If I don't get to some questions, uh, we'll respond to your questions by email. Uh, if you think of any questions later, of course, we'll be happy to entertain all questions. Just email us at bizinfo at bizportals.com. Uh, the first question is, uh, can a process be connected to other cloud services? Uh, good question. Uh, thanks for asking that. Uh, you can integrate and connect to a host of cloud services in real time, including Yammer, Box, Bitter, Virtual Machines, and a whole bunch of applications. Now, Microsoft in Office 365 has made it really easy. They have provided a lot of connectors, uh, especially in the uh, Microsoft Flow tool. It comes with a number of connectors and it includes most of the commonly used tools and uh, through that you can uh, very easily connect and connect to your business processes so that you can get information back and forth. You can notify to the tool outside or uh, get the notification from outside into your portal and be notified while you are working there. 
So it's a great, very powerful tool. Uh, and uh, all of that, you have, you can do that without writing much code. And you can publish this workflow coupled with your forms uh, to collaborate with uh, external vendors, partners, and customers, etc. The next question is, can the workflow be shared with external people? Uh, another question that I'm sure a lot of people are asking because oftentimes our clients uh, communicate with their vendors, communicate with their customers, and they want their uh, them to come to the portal and get some information and even fill out forms and access documents and so forth. So as you know, SharePoint Online Office 365 is natively accessible from public internet. Uh, so it can be easily shared with external parties as well. They don't need to have uh, special uh, features to log into your host machine or anything like that. So this is a big game changer for many customers who need to use SharePoint for external collaboration and is definitely on the rise with SharePoint Online. And these days, many business processes require input uh, and collaboration with external parties who do not have a local network access or Active Directory accounts. So SharePoint Online has opened up a lot of opportunities for organizations to more effectively collaborate and uh, streamline all business processes, whether internal or external. Uh, you can configure SharePoint for as an extranet, and uh, Office 365 provides many options for governance, for controlling what external users can do. Uh, and infrastructure security is, of course, taken care by Microsoft very well, so it removes many barriers for external people to be connecting to your portal. And oftentimes what they do is they fill out a form and which the request would go to your portal. Your portal will get notified and you take some action and back again it, uh, it notifies the customer or the vendor, whichever may be the case. So it provides lots of communication, uh, automatic uh, logging of uh, information and uh, all the compliance related issues are also logged onto your portal. So it's very, very useful. Uh, the next question is, and that would be unfortunately my last question here. We are running out of time. Uh, how do we automate our specific forms that we use for various purposes like HR? Uh, this is, uh, again, uh, I'm sure a very common question, and uh, most organizations are unique in some respect, and people often wonder how versatile is Office 365 in automating business processes. These things can surely be done. Uh, first, we can customize the form layout, form fields, and you can have your own uh, fields into those forms. And then we can create a multi-level approval process to the complexity that you require. Uh, it requires certain knowledge as to what, uh, you know, what uh, settings you do in in the tool in SharePoint Online or Microsoft Flow. So you do need some knowledge, uh, but uh, if we do it for you, then of course it becomes a lot easier uh, because we have done these forms uh, many times over. And these are very generalized features and uh, you can uh, very effectively use that to customize to your needs in your organization. We're running out of time. Uh, thank you for attending. This, uh, hopefully it was useful to you and uh, worth spending the time for, on this webinar. Thank you very much.